Hey everybody, um, this one's Seek It and Co-Seek It graphs. Uh, I love this lesson, along with the next lesson, 19.2. Uh, so anyways, this is 19.1 uh, part 3 of our Integrated Math series. So Integrated Math 3 series. All right, <clears throat> so uh, reciprocals for trig functions, uh, for example, the secant, uh, and it's written SEC, is the reciprocal of cosine, and the cosecant, CSC, is it's a reciprocal of sine. Okay, so so the secant is going to be one over the cosine, and the and the cosecant is going to be one over the sine. Okay, easy enough. And just remember, uh, because we get some zeros inside of those, and remember, because this one starts and ends at one, halfway at one, halfway uh, at, uh, I'm sorry, halfway at negative one, halfway at uh, zeros. So at the zeros, they're going to have some asymptotes. Asymptotes, as uh, Mr. Sargent at uh, one of my other uh, schools teaches. He's a good guy. Uh, and then this one starts and ends at zero, halfway at zero, halfway at one, halfway at negative one. So again, at the zeros, there's going to be asymptotes right there. Asymptotes, Mr. Sargent, asymptotes. Okay, so let's graph uh, each function, okay? So here, so let's graph uh, the secant, okay? So the secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So let's first graph the cosine curve. So so here it says it starts and ends at, at 1, halfway at negative 1, halfway at 0. So here it is. On 2 pi, remember it's 2 pi. So it starts and ends at 1, halfway at negative 1, halfway at 0. Okay? All right. So a good uh, colleague of mine, uh, Mrs. Baker, uh, she was a great teacher. Uh, Everybody loved her. She's like a stern grandma. She was a good lady. She cared for everybody. Mrs. Baker showed me some tricks about this. So, so anyway, so uh, we graphed this last time. So the the secant is all the reciprocals of those. So the reciprocals are one over one, which is one, one over 0 0.707, one over zero, undefined, and so on. Okay. So here we go. So let's put the the asymptotes, the asymptotes, uh, Mr. Sergeant. Uh, I think you're an asthmatote, Mr. Sergeant. Anyways, great guy. Uh, uh, anyway, so as, uh, asthmatotes right here at the zeros of uh, cosine. So, so what happens is is uh, the, our graph will increasingly get close to these asthmatotes, Mr. Sergeant. And over here, close to the asthmatotes. Uh, Sergeant says asthmatotes. Uh, anyways, so uh, that's why uh, at the at the cosine is zero, then the secant is undefined and undefined right here. Okay, so <clears throat> so the reciprocal of one is one, the reciprocal of negative one is negative one, one over negative one, and the reciprocal of uh, 0.707 is point, uh, 1.414. Okay, so uh, one over 0 0.707 is 1.414. So let's graph these guys. Okay. So we're going to go um, to over 0, up 1. So over 0, up 1. We're going to graph that point. Over pi over 4, which is right here, up 1.414. So right up somewhere up here. And then it becomes undefined. So the graph is going to go right up there uh, towards the asymptote. Okay, And then uh, uh, pi over 2 is undefined. So uh, 3 power of 4, which is in quadrant 2, uh, we get um, uh, negative 1.414, somewhere down here, and so on. So anyways, when we graph those points, we got to extend our, our y-axis, and then, uh, then we can go ahead and plot those points, sorry if they're not even, and it's something like that. So they go towards the asymptotes. Okay, don't forget. One period, just like the cosine, is in 2 pi. One period of the secant is also in 2 pi. Okay? All right, so here's cosecant. So the cosecant graph um, is the reciprocal of sine. So that starts and ends at 0, halfway at 0, halfway at 1, halfway at negative 1. Okay, so starts and ends at 0, halfway at 0, halfway at 1, halfway at negative 1 right there. Okay? 
Now this is the pi over 4, which is uh, 0.707, so here's quadrant 1, quadrant 2, 3, and 4 right there. So when we graph that right there, we get that. Now remember, the cosecant, the cosecant is going to be the reciprocal of sine. So we're going to have an asymptote right here, an asymptote right here, and an asymptote right here where all the zeros are, okay? so. That's why we're going to put the undefined at 0, 0, and 0. And then the reciprocal of 1 is 1 over 1. Uh, the, the reciprocal of uh, pi, uh, 2, no, so, sorry, square root of 2 over 2 is 1.414, and so on. So when we grab those guys, let's put those asymptotes right there. And we get U shapes, okay? So it's the same as, um, uh, let me go back here. The period is, is still on 2 pi right there. <clears throat> okay, so let's look at this. Let's go back to um, uh, the, the cosecant, okay? I'm sorry, the secant, okay? The secant, um, it, it's the same right here. It's the same graph. They're called phase shifts. The phase shift over It's just a little bit over, but there's, there's U's in between uh, the asymptotes. And then... Um, uh, here there's like little tails that flare up so if it's above the x-axis it flares up right here and if it's below it flares down so uh, they go towards the asymptotes when you get to the ones okay so so here's the ones and it, so here it makes let's do it again together right there okay so uh, the period is still a uh, uh, one and two pi okay so so here, um, let's use um, uh, f of x equals the sine of x and g of x equals the cosine of x as a guide to graph each function and identify the periods and the asymptotes, okay? All right. So this one's uh, cosecant, which is the reciprocal of sine. So let's go ahead and graph the sine of, of uh, 1 half x, okay? Can you see this is the same as 1 half x right here? So uh, the, the regular sine function, the period is 2 pi. So, so uh, when it is 2 pi, it starts and ends at 0. So if it was 2 pi, it started and ended at 0. It would be halfway at 0, halfway at positive 1, which is right here because that's 2, and then halfway at negative 1. That, that, that would be my sine curve right there. But uh, with y equals sine of x over 2, it has one half of a period in 2 pi. So from the last uh, lesson, uh, we found out that there's going to be one period in 4 pi. It's like multiplying both sides by 2. So from from here to here, it's going to start and end at, at 0, halfway at 0, halfway at positive 1, halfway at negative 1. Okay? So that would be that. There, sorry, I'm getting my dog here. Starting this Lucy. You guys see Lucy? Lucy, I found in front of my classroom about three months ago. It was a January, I'm sorry, December uh, early morning, 6.30 in the morning. And she was shivering and, you know, she's a cute little girl. And, so I'm sorry. So, so start and end at zero, halfway at zero, halfway at one, halfway at negative one. So let's go ahead and do that. So. There's that, halfway at 0, halfway at 1, halfway at negative 1. Do the other side because they gave us the graph right there. There's y equals the sine of x over 2. Okay, so cosecant is the reciprocal. So that means there's going to be uh, uh, a vertical asymptote here and here because it's going to be undefined. The reciprocal of 0 is undefined. So there's going to be a vertical asymptote here and here and here where all the zeros are. So let's do that. Okay, so let's put those in. So see those right there? Okay, and then um, uh, what you can do is uh, just reciprocate all those values that we got. And what's going to happen is it's going to create, create uh, U-shaped graphs. Okay, it's always the U-shaped graphs at the one. So, okay, so they go asymptotically towards the asymptotes right there. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Okay, let's try this. Okay, so here we have the secant of 2x. Okay, so first let's graph uh, the, the cosine of 2x, which is the reciprocal. Okay, so uh, uh, the y equals the cosine of 2x has two periods because of this 2 right here. There's two periods 
in 2 pi, okay, or 1 period in pi. It's like dividing both sides by 2 right there. So the cosine starts and ends at 1, halfway at negative 1, halfway at 0. So let's go ahead and do that. So it starts and ends at 1, starts and ends at 1, halfway at negative 1, halfway at 0. Let's do this side, okay? So same thing. Starts and ends at 1, halfway at negative 1, halfway at 0. Yeah, just like that. As you looked at me like I'm a crazy guy. Okay. All right. So let's put the asymptotes in. The asymptotes, asymptotes, Mr. Sergeant, are um, uh, where the original graph equals zero. So let's go ahead and do that. So there's the asymptotes, and then there are U shapes after that. Okay. All right, what else do I have? Okay. So um, here's the assignment that if you're in my class, and there's um, uh, several pages to these answers because they're big answers, okay? So you can pause it right here, and then here's the next one. And the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and Lucy's saying, let's go play ball. Hey, everybody, take care.